Hi there and welcome to Mr. Arnold's Maths. Uh, this video we're going to look at prime factor decomposition and by the end of the lesson we want you to be able to write any number as a product of primes and product just in case you're wondering is a fancy word for multiplying multiply or sometimes known as in England times timesing okay so we need to be able to write any number as a product of primes now let's just refresh our memory about what prime numbers are and um, a little note here you might want to write this down that prime numbers have exactly two factors now if you want to um, maybe think about what we did in the last video where we talked about areas um, uh, sorry not areas in the last video we talked about factors and um, prime numbers are very special because what happens with prime numbers is there's only one way we can make a rectangle with that um, with that area. So, for example, I know 7 is a prime number, and that's because, essentially, there's only one rectangle I can make that has an area of 7, and that's if the length was 7 and the width was 1. So it's only got two factors, 7 times 1. So 7 is a prime number. Let's see if we can think of another one. Um, another one I know of, let me get my um, rectangle tool out. Uh, another one I know of is 13. 13 is also a prime number. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So the only way to do a rectangle with an area of 13 units, 13 units squared, is if one side is 13 and another side is 1. There's no other way we can make a rectangle that way. So 13 times 1 are its factors, which means that 13 is also one of these very special prime numbers. Now I've got a little challenge for you. So you might have some squared paper or you might be able to work it out in different ways. But suppose I was to give you a 100 square. Here's my special 100 square. What I would like you to do is see if you can find as many prime numbers as possible. And when you do, so for example, if you find a prime number, why don't you shade it in and see if you can spot anything. Is there a pattern or not? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. So we know that seven is a prime number, I could shade that in. Another prime number we identified is 13. And there are many, many more prime numbers in here. It's up to you to see if you can find them. I'm gonna give you some of them though. So. Um, some of the primes that we're going to be using here are written below. So 2 is a prime number, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. And if you don't believe me, see if you can make a rectangle in more than one way for an area of 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, or 19. If you can, please do let me know. Um, now, there's a very, very special fact about prime numbers or about numbers in general, and that's every whole number bigger than one can be made by multiplying primes. So prime numbers are essentially the building blocks of all numbers, because every number bigger than one can be actually made up by using primes. So suppose I have a level six question and I'm asked to write 15 as a product of primes, we can use what's called a factor tree. Okay, so what we do is we start with 15 at the top of our tree, and I think to myself, is there two numbers I can multiply together to make 15? Well, you might say to yourself, yeah, I know two, one and 15. One times 15 is indeed 15, but that hasn't made the problem any simpler at all because, well, I still have the 15 here and I could say that's one and 15. One times 15 is 15 and I could go on and on and on forever, one times 15. Now, I don't want to do that. That's not making me, helping me find any prime numbers that make up 15. So, let's think about it again. Are there any prime numbers or any other numbers other than 1 that we can multiply to make 15? Well, with a little bit of thought, you might realise that 3 times 5 is 15. Now, if it's a prime number, I do a little line underneath it, because I know I'm going to stop here. And this is a prime number as well. So, 15 can be written 15 can be written by doing 3 times 5 so 15 is actually made up by multiplying the prime numbers 3 and 5 together 3 times 5 is 15 so 15 is now written as a product remember product means multiply or times 
product of primes. OK, let's have a look at another example. Suppose I want to write 24 as a product of primes. So I need to see what numbers, what prime numbers multiply together to make 24. So let's start with 24 at the top of the tree. OK, now let's see. Are there any numbers I can multiply together to make 24? OK, I'm going to start nice and simple. I know 24 is even. That means 2 times something makes 24. That something must be 12. So 2 times 12 makes 24. 2 is a prime number. I will stop there. Is 12 a prime number? It's not a prime number. So I'm going to continue on and see if I can think of two numbers that multiply to make 12. So what numbers multiply to make 12? Well, again, I could say 2 and 6. 2 and 6. Now, some of you may be screaming at the... Um, at your computer screen saying, yeah, but we could do 3 and 4. Absolutely, you could do 3 and 4. And I'll do that in a second and you'll see what happens. Um, 2 and 6 are perfect. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 is prime, so I'll stop with that one. 6 is not prime, so I'm going to see if I can think of two numbers that f uh, multiply to make 6. And I'm thinking 2 and 3. 2 times 3. 2 is a prime number and 3 is also a prime number. It's in our list. 2 times 3. So, 24 can actually be written by doing 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And if you want to check that with a calculator, you can. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So that works absolutely brilliant. Now, just in case you were wondering, suppose you had have done this a slightly different way. Let's uh, see if we can move this over. Okay, let's do it a slightly different way. So suppose you started with 24 and you said to yourself, yeah, well, I know that 8 times 3 is 24. So you say 8 and 3. 8 times 3 is 24. Absolutely right. Is 8 a prime number? Nope. Is 3 a prime number? Yes. I'm going to stop on that one. What about the 8? 8 is not prime, so I'm going to keep going. What numbers multiply to make 8? Well, I know 2 times 4 is 8, so 2 times 4 is 8. 2 is a prime number, but 4 is not a prime number. What about 4 then? 4 can be written as 2 times 2. That's prime. And that's prime, so I'm going to stop. And you may have noticed, look at the numbers I haven't underlined. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is exactly the same as this. So it's uniquely written by doing 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And it doesn't matter which way we do it, we will always get the same answer. Let's have a look at example 3. Now, you may want to pause the video and have a go yourself at this stage. I'm going to continue on. OK, I want to write 40 as a product of primes. Remember, product means multiplying together. So 40. I need to multiply some prime numbers together to make 40. So start with the number you, you've begun with, 40. And think of two numbers that multiply to make 40. doesn't matter what they are, any two numbers at all. Um, how about, well, 4 times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. Is 4 prime? Nope. Is 10 prime? Nope. So I'm going to have to keep going with both of these. What about 4? 4 can be written as doing 2 times 2. 2 times 2. Well, 2 is a prime number. And the other, two, the other 2 is a prime number. So I'm going to stop here with these. But 10 I haven't finished yet. Two numbers that multiply to give me 10 are 2 and 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 is prime and 5 is prime. So 40 must be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And let's see if this works. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So that works a treat as well. All right, final example. Uh, 45 as a product of primes. So 45 as a product of primes, um, I'm thinking you can be, you can be um, fancy with this one. I'm going to say 9 times 5. You could have done 
15 times 3 as well. 9 and 5 are perfect. Is 9 a prime number? Nope. Is 5 a prime number? Yes. So draw a line under it. 9 is not prime, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, what numbers multiply to make 9? 3 times 3. 3 times 3. 3 times 3. Okay. Does this give me a... Uh, are we finished? Absolutely, because every number is now a prime. So 45, 45 equals 3 times 3 times 5. So if I multiply 3 times 3 times 5, I get 45. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 5 is indeed 45. So 45 written as a product of primes is given. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Again, we've got our 100 square. You can choose any number you like in the 100 square, and you can write it as a product of primes. Once you've done that, you may want to color it in or cross it off. How many of these numbers in here can you write as a product of primes? And it's entirely up to you which ones you do. Don't forget, though, some of the numbers hidden in here will be prime numbers. See if you can find them. That's all from me. Hopefully you found the video useful. I'll be back again with another one soon. Best of luck with the vision, and I'll talk to you again sometime.